Five of the worst military aircraft used in World War II. Number one, the Fairy Battle. Having its maiden flight in 1936, the Fairy Battle had some admirable qualities, with its monowing design, a major step ahead of the biplanes which graced the RAF in the 1930s, and utilising the Rolls-Royce Merlin engine. However, unlike the Hawker Hurricane and Supermarine Spitfire, both of which were designed around the same period and would also use the Rolls-Royce Merlin engine, the Fairy Battle had a woeful time in the skies over northern France once the Second World War broke out. It quickly became obsolete and suffered terrible losses in the opening stages of the conflict. This was mainly due to its lack of potent armament, it had just two 303 calibre machine guns, and its slow pondering speed due to its poor aerodynamic design. By the end of the Battle of France in 1940, the losses had mounted considerably to nearly 100 aircraft destroyed, and more importantly, the vital crews were lost too. Number 2. The Douglas TBD Devastator As with the Fairy Battle, the TBD Devastator was a good aircraft when it first flew in 1935, with many positives such as the monowing design which was becoming popular by the middle of the 1930s and having a metal construction. It was a useful addition to the US Air Force. However, once war came to the US in the form of the attack on Pearl Harbor, the TBD Devastator was still in service and once the war in the Pacific began, the flaws and inadequacies became apparent. The TBD Devastator was no match for the excellent Japanese Zero fighter, and although initially it had limited success with the aid of the Wildcat fighter escorts in the Battle of Midway, the TBD Devastator attack on the Japanese Kaga aircraft carrier resulted in complete destruction of all 15 aircraft that took part. This is a true example of an obsolete aircraft being used against superior opposition. Number 3. The Breda BA-88 Lynx Initially proving to be a record-breaking aircraft for speed and delighting the masses in Italy, the Breda BA-88 Lynx quickly lost its initial glories once it was pressed into service. Additional weight caused by armament and equipment greatly slowed the speed and caused the handling of the aircraft to be greatly reduced. Being deployed in North Africa against the British forces, it's, it was proven to be woefully underpowered and an attack was even aborted due to the aircraft not being able to stay in formation or reach the required height for the attack. After its initial deployment, production was ceased, with aircraft being left in the field and being scrapped from the factory. Number 4. The Messerschmitt Me 210 Part of the German idea of fast light bombers and trying to build on the patchy success of the Messerschmitt Bf 110, the Me 210 was intended to supersede the 110. But poor design choices, problems in the production and the overall poor performance of the aircraft meant that the Me 210 had to be completely redesigned and eventually being sent into production as the Me 410 in an effort to lessen the bad press the 210 had gathered. The main problem this caused was a lack of replacement for the obsolete Bf 110 and with the delays the Messerschmitt Bf 110 continued to be in service for the majority of the war and this resulted in heavy losses for both the 110 and the 410 when it was rushed into battle against superior forces. Number 5. The Messerschmitt Me 163 Comet Although one of the most advanced aircraft to see service during the Second World War, the Messerschmitt Me 163 Comet was full of production problems but more importantly it utilised a fuel which was highly volatile and this proved to be the greatest flaw in the concept of this aircraft. Although it was capable of incredible speeds, the danger in flying it and its ease of crashing rendered the whole project useless. Seeing only limited service, the aircraft did claim nine victories, but overall, more than 90% of the aircraft that were sent into battle were destroyed in accidents, showing just how problematic it was to fly and more importantly, land. So that was just my pick of five aircraft used during World War II, which had poor performance, production problems, or were generally just a bad idea. If you like what you've seen, please check out my channel, like the video, leave me a comment, and subscribe to the channel.
and I'll see you in the next video.